are the best. A lot of fights are going to go the distance. Fixing a uh, portion of the ring that uh, came loose when the two were entangled. Round number two of a scheduled three. Close first round. Again, we never know what the judges are looking at when they're scoring these bouts. Oh, it's Fuji throwing a couple of right hands. Montoya trying to set up a kick, potentially to lead into a takedown. Both of these women, South Paul fighters. And Fuji tried to power check that leg kick. I like to call it a power check. This is a very tough test. Oh, nice uh, counter kick. May have hurt Fuji a little bit. But Fuji looking to be the aggressor. Montoya, you can argue on the other hand, taking center ring. And now it's Fuji stepping towards the center. Fuji attempted a back leg kick, didn't work too well. Nice single leg takedown by Megumi Fuji. I'll tell you what, these two are just undeniably fast. And I said beforehand, I think we're gonna be seeing a, a chess match more than anything this weekend out of these two. Montoya scooting her back up against the ropes, landing a few right hands. She's got that left arm of Fuji, almost in a Kimura position. But meanwhile, Fuji is staying in very close and compact. Montoya very, very calm. Acting very aware of where she's going and that is right inside of a corner. And let's face it, Montoya is, is still a kid. Look at this, going for Kimura, but Megumi Fuji very wise to this situation. She has tucked that arm in tightly. Sean Brockmo is gonna pull them back towards the middle, or at least point their heads inside of the ring. And Montoya not letting go of this. You see Megumi Fuji, she has her other arm threaded through and is holding her own arm. Look out, Montoya working the leg up high. But look at, look at the knee, the leg work of Megumi Fuji. She gets the knee right up through the middle. And there's no way to wrap a triangle around if that's done. Oh, look at this, Montoya is now in some trouble. Fuji hammering away. Now chopping away with right hands as well. Look out, Montoya attempted to take the back. Now it's Montoya on top and Fuji working her submission game. Right now, you are looking at potentially the top two female fighters on earth in this weight division. And look at Montoya trying to pass this guard. But Fuji wisely rolls to her stomach. Montoya trying to grab the right arm of Fuji and she rolls forward. Neither of these two able to, to, to land any good punches. 
or gain any considerable amount of offense. One minute remaining. And I attribute that to, to the excessive skill of both women. Now Montoya trying to pepper away. You see how tight that Megumi Fuji is keeping her body. I was about to say Montoya is not able to get both hooks in. She's got one hook deeply in. And we are nearing the end of round number two. Montoya looking very dominant this round. Now she's just firing away at Megumi Fuji. Fuji in some trouble. Oh my gosh. Talk about a save by the bell situation. In my opinion, that round clearly went to Erica Montoya. Take a look back at some of the highlights from this round. Here's where the two just clash in, smack. Not sure who got the better or worst of that one. Montoya tried to go high right afterwards. Look at Montoya sneaking out the back. You think she's gonna get through and pass, but doesn't. Fuji very crafty, and here is how Montoya ended this round. Dominant position with Fuji covered up. Very close fight thus far. Seconds down. 